after six different uniforms. Yes, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six different uniforms for Captain Marvel. The geniuses at Marvel Future Fight Headquarters have finally done it. They've decided to so graciously give us a 10% heal for Captain Marvel. Yup, it only took nine years and six uniforms. Hey, <laughs> you can't make this shit up, bro. Anyways, new uniform is here for Captain Marvel. We're gonna take her for a spin today and see if it's actually worthwhile. I'm looking at it and I would say if you are a Captain Marvel fan and you wanna use her, then it's definitely gonna be an, a good upgrade because for the first time ever, she can kinda be proc friendly. Not reliably, in my opinion, because of the fact that the third skill activates really quickly and it gets off some hits and it will trigger your prop very, very easily. And in addition to that, you can't even instantly cancel this third skill and get the full effects, which is actually kind of annoying. So I'll show you what I mean. I pop the third and I pop the one. You'll notice that the third skill just kind of ends quickly. But if I go ahead and let it play out, let her just go supernova, look at that. That's all of the residual damage coming from that third skill. So you kind of have to, if you want to get the most of the Captain Marvel in PvE content, use her with a CDP of Rage because you're definitely going to want to delay cancel the third skill, then go ahead and instant cancel your fifth skill, proc on your fourth for your regular rotation. And then for your sixth skill, you can instant cancel that, okay? You can either do six instant cancel, three delay cancel, five instant cancel, and then proc on four, or you can mix it up when you have a CTP of rage. But when you have a single damage proc, like a CTP of destruction or a CTP of energy, you're gonna have to kind of sacrifice some of the damage from that third skill if you wanna keep your proc on a consistent basis. Now you may be wondering, why I have a CDP of destruction on Captain Marvel when I'm recommending for PvE content that you go with a CDP of Rage. And the simple fact is, for the longest time I've been using her in PvP, primarily Alliance Conquest, because she's kind of been pushed out of timeline battle very, very long time ago because of tier four, level 80 and all that stuff, right? Just does not have enough survivability because she didn't have a heal. Ran away to Greed for a little while and I had to ultimately switch back to a destruction because she does not have penetration in her one through five. You can take a look and they still didn't do that for her. So if you are gonna use her in PVP, whether it's Otherworld Arena or Timeline Battle at tier four, because you can now get to tier four with this recent update, you're probably going to need to stick to the destruction. So they didn't really open up the options for her too much as I was hoping kind of sad i was hoping that they would put penetration on her fourth skill because that's still the money maker it still has iframe ignore that's still her highest damaging skill whether it's pve or pvp but you don't have no penetration so if you go into pvp and the enemy has invincibility or damage immunity which pretty much every character in the game right now has you're not going to be doing any damage to them because they're blocking that damage so it's so stupid that you don't have penetration on this skill when you have iframe ignore nor on it. You kind of have to rely on your tier three to get penetration, but your tier three is never going to be used in PVP. He's, she's not surviving long enough to get off the tier three in PVP <laughs> with a 10% heal. Now, luckily, in the case of Captain Marvel, because she has this ability to increase all buff effects and their duration, this 10% heal is actually, sorry, it's on this skill, right? This 10% heal is actually 12% because she's increasing that 10% by two extra percent because of the increase buffs by 20 percent and then in addition to that it's actually not a one second buff it's a two second buff so technically you're getting a 24 percent heal still not good enough i wanted a maximum ideally of 30 to 35 percent so it is what it is they definitely made her a little bit better on the uniform bonus they decided to keep the extra damage or damage reduction and extra damage to super villains which she already had on her previous uniform they basically just increased the amount of damage she did to villains or does to villains rather by five percent okay they also gave her a chain hit damage on her tier two passive so i'm not saying this uniform is not a worthwhile upgrade i just don't think they went far enough especially since this is her sixth uniform she's the primary tier four in this update 
and they're trying to push this uniform because it's tied to a new MCU movie which surprise surprise it's probably gonna flop and most people are not gonna go see so you maybe maybe want to go back and revisit this uniform you know what I'm saying make it a banger so people want to actually buy it but it's on sale for 50% off because of Black Friday anyways let's jump in let's have some fun <laughs> with Captain Marvel and uh, let's see how it goes now like I said previously consistency is going to be an issue when it comes to maintaining your damage proc I'm gonna try my best let's go you should be able to do this Ooh, I got caught up the movement speed isn't bad but uh, come on this one right here is the damage proc it's up to 240 because of her um Tier 2 passive, come on. Oh, well, I was hoping to break there. It's okay. Oh, okay. I have max dodge and everything, so it's kind of open to dodge that, but hope is never a strategy. Come on. Okay, there we go. So 50 seconds, not bad, not bad. I wish you could insta cancel the third and still get those extra hits, but come on. There we go. Just dip out of there. Let's go. Uh, the third skill triggered the proc. Um. I uh, don't don't try to kill. Okay, we're not taking that much damage. Okay, we have lots of damage reduction coming from White Fox and Wave. Actually, it's not even just that. White Fox, Wave, and her uniform. Yeah, so it's almost impossible for villains to kill her, I guess. <laughs> Unless it's like a one-shot mechanic from the boss. Like, I don't really see her dying, especially if you can use other characters to reduce the damage even further. But I'm pretty sure she maxes out the damage reduction herself when it comes to villain because there's 50 and it's 90 percent so it's pretty much like the max so i think the max you can reduce it to is like 99 percent like you're still gonna take a little bit of damage but then she'll just heal it back so like right there we just keep missing the proc maybe it's a skill issue just keep in mind i'm just playing with her for a couple minutes now oh, come on bro like but like yeah from what I'm seeing, it's not going to be one of those situations where she's easy to proc with, with a single damage proc. So if you're going to go primarily PvE, which I think ideally that's what you probably should do, just because of the fact that they didn't put penetration on her. Um, hold on. They didn't do put penetration on her voice skills, so it's kind of it's kind of like a pointless PvP. Well, it's not pointless. It's more like a, a low tier PvP skill because this is not back in the day when characters didn't have penetration. Every sorry, not even penetration, immunity and, and uh, to, to damage and all that shit, bro. Like pretty much every character has invincibility and immunity. Both of those effects in their skills. So like, unless you're running a destruction, I don't know. You're just kind of like hanging around hoping that they're damage reduction or the invincibility runs out and then you get to uh, basically get lucky with your force skill and kill them and i'm saying ah oh, come on bro why do you keep getting caught up so often i definitely think we can do this faster if we actually can keep the proc consistently but 64 is pretty good for level 70. she doesn't feel underpowered she just doesn't feel perfect she doesn't feel as good as she should be you know what i'm saying like come on man you guys are almost 10 years in. all right almost 10 years in you're barely adding new content to the game all you're all you're doing is releasing tier fours tier threes and uniform the least you can freaking do is make the uniforms like feel congruent bro like like stop the foolishness bro Okay, now uh, let me just toss out this tier 3 and finish this up. 
Yeah, like, I definitely think they could have done better in terms of making the uniform more proc friendly. All right, let me see how we do against Null. Truthfully speaking, I don't think they gave her enough. Like, her invincibility runs out way too quickly for me. I don't like it. It's like, I find that a lot of times I get caught by blade twisters and stuff. Like, why well, they only give her three seconds of invincibility? Like, okay, I'm gonna try and. Hmm. Unfortunate. I tried to skip the cage using the the six, and I was trying to see if I could move back into the regular rotation, but didn't quite work out. Be that way. Oh, okay, got hit by something. Yeah, I don't like playing her with a proc, bro. It's, I don't know, it doesn't feel fun. Yeah. Gonna get knocked back. Hello? Nah, so decent damage, but I don't, I don't, I don't like how high risk it is. Like, I feel like on a proc friendliness, I would give her like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like a 50% chance that I'll hit my proc. It may be a little bit higher. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I would say like, maybe 60 or 70%, but like still. Because you know what you need to do. It's just a matter of like, sometimes like right there, you'll get unlucky where the first hit from the third skill will trigger the proc. Maybe if I, maybe if I go 5 three four but even then the, before i get to the four you know things can just go awry all right i'm just gonna use the two to push him down so she has adequate damage and i guess you could from what i'm seeing here get away with using the destruction but it doesn't feel fun i don't know maybe five three four is better well, maybe maybe I shouldn't say it doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel as stress free as I would like it to be. I think that's what that's a, a better way to put it. Like, if you're looking for a stress free experience, I wouldn't go with the destruction. But if you're just trying to like you know use her for PvP, actually get kills, and not have her be punching air because the enemy has <laughs> you know like their invincibility or damage immunity up, so you're doing like no damage when she's attacking. Um, then run her with destruction and occasionally take her into PvE content. Or you could just forget PvP altogether for the most part and then just, all right. So first hit from something triggered the proc there and we got absolutely no damage. Love that for me. Love that for me. Let's go over here. So yeah, she has adequate damage. Proc friendliness, uh, six out of 10 maybe. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, they they should have done, should have done a little bit better. Especially, you know, that most people don't like Brie Larson. <laughs> people like Yab Demo, but they don't like Brie Larson as Yab Demo. You know what I'm saying? So, people will just skip over it just because it's Brie Larson. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna just keep punching. Hmm. I feel like we have we just got Ghost Rider. He's universal. She's female, I guess, but like. All right. I was gonna try and get a rotation in, but I got knocked back. I feel like if you have Ghost Rider, why do you need Captain Marvel? You know what I'm saying? But I guess she's the only thing is she's female, bro. Like that, that's literally it. Like I feel like if you just got Ghost Rider tier four, just keep over Captain Marvel. Bro. Especially since if you want to use her for PvE and get the most out of her, you come on, bro. I don't. This stupid freaking thing didn't proc. Okay, I'm done. I'm 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 out of here. And then she got caught up by, bro. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. I'm not even. I'm not even, bro. She is honestly annoying to play with a proc because you have to sacrifice so much damage. And then for whatever reason, 
these imbeciles only gave her three seconds of invincibility in her entire skill set. So I find that quite often she gets hit with either the purifying wind or the blade twister. You get caught up and you lose a bunch of damage and a bunch of time from just standing around. And that's literally what just happened to me there. I got hit by something that stunned me so I couldn't attack and I ran out of time, bro. Like that's freaking annoying. Like there's so many characters in this game that have like five or six seconds of immunity in addition to five or six seconds of invincibility. And they decided to just give this girl literally three seconds of invincibility and only a 10% heal. 